Hey guys, AJS Cup Stacking here, and the following is the press press conference or news conference that was held in Boston um, with the uh, the police, the FBI, etc. Um, I did record it from a Google Chrome browser, so yes, um, I did record the whole browser itself. I'm sorry, but uh, um, I'm not trying to get copyright here, but I want to inform the public that do not have a TV, that do not watch CNN, um, that are on YouTube. I want to inform you guys of what's happening. So uh, just enjoy and um, hope you learn a lot about what's been going on. And I'll leave the link to the CNN website and uh, like all the other stuff that's been going on. So uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in and uh, just in enjoy. Leave a like if you did and uh, peace. Thank you, um, all of you, for your patience, and to all of the viewers and listeners in the uh, in the area who uh, have also been very patient. I'm going to have um, Colonel Alban give a uh, quick update on what we can say about the uh, ongoing investigation. I'll have a couple of comments then about uh, uh, the uh, stay indoors request and the tea, and then we will turn it over to the mayor and then to um, Chief DeVoe from uh, Watertown here. So first to uh, Colonel Alvin. Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon. I, I, I certainly want to thank all of you for your patience. I know you're all tired. We certainly are as well. But we remain committed to this. We do not have an apprehension of our suspect this afternoon, but we will have one. We're committed to that. I want the uh, neighborhood here in Watertown to know that we went through about 20 streets here, door to door, with our tactical teams. We knocked on doors to, to uh, ensure that everyone was safe in their homes and that they saw the police on their streets. We did limited searches of those homes to render them safe. We've also followed a number of leads this afternoon that have taken us in various places in eastern Massachusetts, and none of those leads have been fruitful to this point. There's much left to be done including uh, ballistics and forensics work that it will be uh, concluding in Boston in the next few days. We also have a scene up here, a uh, forensic scene, where we had some uh, exploded and unexploded ordnance there uh, that were made safe and removed uh, during the course of the afternoon. Uh, that is still ongoing, but should be completed shortly. We are gonna draw back our tactical teams but the state police will be providing additional patrols to the uh, town of Watertown over the next uh, about two to three days. For the neighbors and the, the citizens of this community, we're gonna have for uh, the chief an additional 10 state police patrols augmenting the Watertown police in those neighborhoods three shifts a day, uh, probably through Monday. So again, I want to emphasize, this is a complicated investigation that's being led by the FBI. Our presence here today was about the safety of the people in the community. We're confident that we did that to the best of our ability. Unfortunately, we don't have a positive result at this point. But for the sake of everyone that were hurt or killed during the marathon, or those police officers that lost their life, or were seriously injured, we are committed to seeing a conclusion to this case. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. In light of the uh, uh, status of the investigation here in Watertown and the um, developments uh, in the course of the day, the stay indoors request is lifted. Uh, the T is open, effective immediately, the MBTA effective immediately. We are asking the public to remain vigilant if you are out. Uh, continue to be alert to suspicious activity, unaccompanied or unattended packages and backpacks and so on. Remember, there is still a very, very dangerous uh, individual at large, uh, but we feel confident uh, based on what we know about the status of the investigation right now that to that extent 
we can return to, uh, uh, to living our lives. But again, uh, in the areas where, where the stay indoors request has been effect, in effect, that request is lifted but remain vigilant. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Governor. Let me just say to the public out there, thank you for your cooperation for the last uh, several hours. Stand by uh, was very helpful to us as the uh, very different police departments went to work on this investigation. Yes, we do not have a uh, the individual uh, arrested yet and brought to justice. But let me just say we have a lot of leads out there. I'm asking the public to continue to cooperate with us. You know, Boston will stand tall. We'll never stand down. Now, to all of uh, uh, my uh, citizens out there in the city of Boston, thank you for your cooperation. Thank you to the business community for work with us over the last several hours. A close to the business. Big economic loss for them. But together, we're going to get through this crisis. Thank you. Chief. Uh, thank you. Again, my message is to the community of Watertown. It's a little different what we're going to do here. Yeah. You're going to see saturated patrols. As the Colonel said, state police will be out. Our local communities are going to support us. Uh, Nemlik will be here. Uh, so we are going to see a big presence. Um, we've, uh, we've searched a very thorough search of the 20 block interior. Unfortunately, as, as you know, we, we didn't have any results. Um, but we're going to continue to move forward as a community. Um, I can't thank the Watertown community enough for what you've done, your strength, but we need it to continue. As you heard, the crime scene is not done yet. That is not going to be collapsed for another few hours at least. So we need your support there uh, and you please go about your business. I know there's a lot of events in Watertown tomorrow and we're going to have them. Uh, but you're going to see a big police presence as we do that. Thank you and please say a prayer for those police officers. Thank you. Just one, one more one, thing. I'm one sorry, more point. One more thing before I just want to add, there, there's a photograph of our subject that, that's been widely distributed. I want to remind the public that it's there. If you see this individual, please, I want to emphasize this, do not take action on your own. We want you to dial 911 to your local police department and anything that you might know about this individual, please uh, send that to the FBI tip line. This is very, very important. I appealed the other day to the community for your cooperation and you've come through. We need that continuing co cooperation to solve this. Thank you. Well, I think that goes to the investigation, and I, and I, I don't want to discuss the investigation. I'll, I'll talk about anything that happened here today. One at a time. No, I, I, we, we have, we're committed to this since... Uh, 11.30 or 11 o'clock last night. We've worked uh, through since that time, and uh, we have had people tirelessly walking those streets, going door to door up there. Um, unfortunately, uh, we, we did not have enough people uh, when those shootings took place in order to uh, deal with the first aid issues that were prominent and uh, establish a perimeter at, at that uh, point in time. Go ahead. Yeah. May I? May I? Well, I don't think, uh, first of all, that the uh, that the instruction lends itself to, um, you know, simple phrases, right? We are we are where we were, um, effectively on as of Monday night or Tuesday morning, um, it, with a couple of exceptions. One of the suspects is dead. Um, there was a firefight out here last night, some 200 rounds and explosives. Um, so we were very justified, uh, I believe, based on what we understood about the investigation in taking what we knew was a, uh, a big step in asking people to stay indoors while we went house to house here and in other communities close by to which we believed the, uh, the suspect or law enforcement believed the suspect uh, could, have, uh, could have fled. The investigation has continued to develop. We can't give you all the reasons. Uh, all those developments right now. We will in the fullness of time. We can't right now, but based on those developments, we feel it is prudent to be able to say to people, you can get back out as long as you are vigilant. This, is, this has been an ongoing effort of the Joint Terrorism Task Force. It was from its onset. 
and it will continue to be that. So you have the FBI, the state police, and all of the local police departments, including the Boston Police Department. Go ahead. I think I'd be, I'd be, uh, no, I, I don't have any direct knowledge that he's here in the Boston area, but we don't think he'd get much further. His ties seem to be here. Ryan, right here. Well, I think this uh, r developed rather quickly last night, and I uh, would uh, wager that most of the activity that was printed in the media yesterday uh, forced them to make decisions or take actions that ultimately revealed who they were. No. Yeah, I want to be clear about the armed robbery. Uh, uh, these folks do not appear to be the individuals who were involved in the armed robbery. They were at the 7-Eleven in Cambridge at a time that was somewhat coincidental to that, and we retrieved a uh, surveillance video out of the 7-Eleven but they were not involved in an armed robbery of that uh, convenience store. Uh, no, I don't want to comment on, on that because that's a homicide investigation. Um, but all hit of this individual's ties were here in Massachusetts, and we believe that's the only person that we're looking for at this time. Right here, that It, it, yes, I believe he's still in Massachusetts. No, the whole point in, in providing that extra coverage to Watertown is for the benefit of this community. We've had this whole community, and in fact the greater Boston area, as you know, shut down today. But in particular, these folks had a, uh, a, a shooting in their neighborhood last night. There was a loss of life up there. It was very violent uh, activity. And so to provide that level of comfort to those folks up there in that neighborhood, we're providing or supplementing the uh, Watertown Police Department. Adam Riley, Adam Riley, go. Yeah, there was. Oh, I didn't know what that is. That would be supposition on my part, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not aware of a, I'm not aware of a Mercedes Adam the public Smith, should be looking please. for. Go ahead. Thank Carrie Anderson next. Well, it's clear to us that there were explosives that they had with them last night. Uh, they threw those at the police officers that were pursuing them. Uh, beyond that, what their intentions were would be a matter of, of supposition, and I'm not going to do that. Which car? Prior to the car, Jack? The Honda? The Honda? Oh. Honda? Yeah. That car, that you're talking about the Honda. That, that, that car is being processed at this point. Uh, but its relevance to the case is still not known. Go right here, right here. It's not something that I've considered. Uh, I'm worried about apprehending this particular sub subject. He's a very violent and dangerous person. That's our primary concern. I'm sorry? We don't know of a vehicle that he has. My message to the suspect is to give himself up, to stop any further violence or, uh, uh, towards anyone. Um, in terms of w where he is at this point, we cannot continue to lock down an entire city or an entire state. Uh, we are confident that we've done what we can do here in this particular neighborhood in terms of our search. And unfortunately, that was not fruitful. But we are redoubling our efforts, and we are as committed as we were this morning towards apprehending him. But has anything changed in the last eight hours? Have you found out anything new? No. I would never give an all clear on anything. I, I, again, I want to reemphasize the point. 
that people have got to be vigilant. This is a dangerous person who we believe has killed people. They need to be extremely careful and uh, contact their local police department if they even suspect they, they identified as individual. Yeah. We, we've done a number of searches this afternoon, but that, again, is going to go to the investigation, and I don't want to comment on that. Well, I think that would always be a, a law enforcement's press, uh, preference. Um, but sometimes those things are decisions that they take away from us, and we hope that's not the case here. And that's why I'm appealing to him to give himself up and do it now. They were together last night. One of them was killed, and one of them fled the scene. On foot. Uh, I'm not going to get into that again. This, this is a, a homicide case we're talking about, and I, I don't want to discuss the evidence in the case. Two more, two more questions. Two more questions. Right here. One. Right here. One. Well, I, I think, again, that's going to go to the investigation, and I don't want to comment on the evidence. Yeah. I think that you should be reassured by the presence, the enhanced presence of the state police in the Watertown Police Department being here in your neighborhood. And we are convinced that we did absolutely everything that we could in this neighborhood to ensure that this individual is not where he left last night. Last question. What do you got to think? Last question, Colonel. Last question. How did he get away? How did he get away? Well, he How did he get away? And do you have a sense of, sense of where he Where did he He abandoned a car uh, that he had used that was involved in the pursuit uh, from Cambridge here to Watertown last night. In terms of how he got away, he did it on foot. He fled on foot. Uh, I don't know where he went specifically after that. So he abandoned the car. I think that's it. That's all. That's all. That's all. Thank you very much. We're, we're covering old ground. We'll say what we can say. Motive remains under investigation. As I said to start this, much of this remains under investigation. This is going to be the last briefing of the night unless there's a significant development. Again, we thank you for your help throughout the day. We thank you for your patience, and we thank you for understanding that there's still a lot of this we can't publicly disclose. Thank you. We have the Mercedes. We have the Mercedes. There won't be another briefing tonight unless there's a significant development. Yeah.